Hi, I'm Miss Kim, the art instructor at the Music Connection in Orland Park, and I'm so excited to teach you today's mini art lesson, Frosty the Snowman, done with Tempera paint markers. So let's begin. The colors I used here, you can follow exactly, or if say you want the scarf to be school colors or a favorite sports team or just favorite colors you like, by all means change it. It's okay. And I did put a little sparkle for that snow and ice. How I achieved that is with these blue glitter pens here. A black Sharpie marker or one like it. And here's the tip. You want to kind of think because we're going to do some detailing and outlining. Or if you have just a plain black Crayola marker, that's fine. The paper I used was watercolor on this one, 11 by 15 inch tempera paint markers, an eight pack. I used all the colors. I am going to start by opening up my tempera paint colors. Like so, it's a nice carrying case. I love it for that purpose too. And I am going to pull out my white tempera paint marker. And I'm going to twist the top to open it. It has a sponge applicator, all of them do. All right, so we're going to make our snowman and a body, a, a chest, and then a head. And I just eyeballed it, but what you can do, if you need to help, instead of a, like an actual ruler, I just do a finger measurement. Like, okay, four fingers from the top is where the hat and the sky will be, so the head will be right in here. And I'm going to just make a circle and squeeze and go around and fill it all in with the paint to make a white snowball head. And I'm not measuring and I'm not making that perfect circle. I'm just swirling around, squeezing. And there, it's kind of maybe hard to see in the video here because of the shadows of the light and everything, but there's a snowball right in here about that size for the head. Now, the body is about four fingers wide, uh, you know, long. So now I'm gonna go and make that, and I'm gonna make it slightly bigger than the head by going in a circle in that space that I measured with my fingers. When you're working fast, you don't wanna break out a ruler, you just wanna kinda of eyeball and do this approach. For the base of the body, the bottom of the snowman, it's about four fingers, so that seems to be our number. And then you just make it bigger at the bottom, obviously. To make them stable, when you're building your snowman. I don't even know about you, but I love making snowmen. I love Christmas. I love the season, winter season. And we don't have any snow to work with yet, but I'm sure we will eventually. So in the meantime, let's make it on paper. Do you want to build a snowman? I do. Okay, now let's go at the bottom and let's make some little swirls of snow piles from the wind. And let's make a line just a little past the bottom of the snowman where it's like, there's the horizon line. That's what we're calling the horizon line today. All right, now I'm gonna cap my snow and we're done with that. We're putting it back in the holder. We're gonna let that dry. While we're waiting, we can continue to work. So let's take some blue. I'm thinking blue's a cold color. And I want to show wind and wind and swirls in my background for fun. When I'm doing this, again, I've got the sponge applicator. I'm squeezing and I'm going around the white that I created for the snowman. So I'm going to outside, outline around outside of my snowman so I don't blend into that white by accident. And look how cool that is. You don't even have to push down much. I want that effect with the white skipping in between, and it actually looks like you've been a professional master artist by creating that effect, and you're not even trying that hard to do that by doing it this way. And then I'm gonna outline the outer border a little bit like that. So it just kind of gives you an idea where we're coloring within. I'm gonna roll my sleeve up so I don't get paint into my arm or my clothes as I'm keeping my hands up here, and that's what's nice about this, it's a tiny, a tall tipped uh, way of painting and I'm going to make swirls like like the wind is blowing just like it shows in my picture here and it, there's no rhyme or reason just kind of create those swirls like that kind of looks like Van Gogh style starry night if you know what I'm talking about um, if he has that kind of effect all right now we're going to go this way why not the winds swirl and blow all different ways in the winter time. 
and blue is a cold color. We're going to cap the blue, we're done with it, and we're putting it back in the holder. You can let everything dry, and then we would go back in with another color. I'm going to do purple like I did here, but I'm going to let my blue dry a bit. And while we're waiting for things to dry a little bit, I'm going to point some things out. So we're going to have a hat we're going to make. We're going to put the um, stick arms, and we'll put glitter glue in there. A scarf, pull for the buttons, pull for the smile and the eyes, and a carrot for the nose. And then we do a little shading on the one side because the sun is coming this way and this side's a shaded side. So we make it clear that that's the sun is coming this way and this is our light source and this side's a darker side, just a touch, okay? So I think my, at the bottom, if you touch your, you'll see that your paint is not shiny, it's dry. And with my fingers to the touch, it's fine. So knowing that, I can go back in while I'm waiting for the other things to dry to come in with my blue and I am going to simply go like this do the horizon line first and then I'm going to do this where the swirls are of white that's kind of like the snow and ice and the blue is saying oh um, that's also where the snow is at too and then I'm going to put a little bit right under the the bottom of my snowman a touch I had a little piece of something I just took my nail and just knocked it out of there all right we're going to put the blue away and now I'm going to go for my purple. Here's my purple. I'm screwing it. Same thing, sponge applicator. I am going to start to go through, and I see most of this is dry. There might be some little wet spots that are drying. Just be careful. Take your time a little, okay? So I'm going to just kind of swirl with it, and if they blend a little, just a tiny bit, it'll be all right. Don't worry about it. There's no right or wrong. You can make more than one of these if you need to go. Like, I like my first one. I want to try it again. Just try. Experiment. Step out of that comfort zone and have fun. And enjoy the holidays. Okay. I'm going to cap my purple. I'm happy with how the background looks now. I'm going to let that dry. I'm still waiting for my snowman to dry, and it's going to take a little bit. So while we're waiting... I think I'm going to start gathering materials. So I got my Sharpie here. I am going to definitely do glitter glue silver and for the branches, the star color, and I'm going to push this aside. I do not need that. That was just to show you the product, which was called Creativity Street. And you saw the packaging. You can find it, like I said, at CVS. I'm letting this dry. I can, while I'm waiting, sign it in between where there's no paint. Mrs. Kim, I'm putting, if you put your name, and then the year 2020, and a dot in front and a dot in, dot in front and back just to make it stand out. I like to put the date so you remember when you created your artwork. All right, well, while we're waiting, we can do some silver outlining up in our sky by just taking our applicator. We took the tip off, you simply squeeze, and you might have to squeeze from the bottom down to the base. I've used this a couple times already. So, And then you just kind of go around and swirl it with the tip. Like that's how I did it. And it's not fancy because it's just suggests icy cold winds. And a little sparkle to your picture. Because we want to suggest cold winter with snow. And this is going around and around. And let me push some more of that glitter glue down. You might have to take your fingers and push down. Sorry, we're having some technical difficulties in the house right now. It's beeping, forgive me. Our furnace was acting up today. All right. And that is it for that. I'm just going to swirl this around with the applicator. A little to create that ice and snow and then I'm going to cap it and you twist it to close it and put that to the side. My snowman's looking like it's almost dry. On an angle I can see that there's no not too much shining a little bit so I'm going to wait a little longer. While I'm waiting I'm going to start to draw in my branch arms. So just do like this a little arm and then come down in a little bit here and then come down. That's all I did. 
and then I just colored it with black. It may, doesn't have to be fully colored in because we're going to take the dark glitter glue and go over them to give them a little sparkle. Now on this side, I'm making the branch again, like so. And I'm coloring it in again, and I'm going to let that be. Now I'm coming in with this glitter glue, the dark brownish red, and I'm going to color within, push the um, glitter glue through the tip, and I'm just going to fill in those branches, and that's it. So if a little white showing through, it's okay. See how we're pretty much covering it up mostly. And that's it for the arms. We cap that, twist it close. We're done with that. Set that to the side. I'm seeing that the snowman's pretty dry. There's a little bit of wet right in here. I'll just be careful there for now. I am going to go ahead and put the coal eyes in. So with the cap off on my Sharpie, I'm going to just put a coal eye. And they're an odd shape. They're not round to suggest coal like you do for a barbecue. If you've ever done it that way, your mom and dad. And then the mouth, I'm going to just put a little piece of coal in a bigger one and a bigger one and just keep going and leaving a little white is fine because that's like the light reflecting off of it and I'm just going upward with a little like smirk like a half smile then I'm going to make like a carrot nose and I'm going to let my marker be a little bumpy because that's how a carrot is and make it that shape kind of like a triangle and then I'm going to go ahead and make, outline my snowman with the marker like this. So you know where the circles are, where my snowman is. And I'm going to skip a little, and it's okay. I'm going to go around. And we can continue the arm like so if we need to. And put the glitter there, so don't worry. And let's do the base of the final part of the snowman like this. And then I'm just going to do a little like that to show where the second snowball is sitting on top of the base one. Well, now I'm going to make my scarf. I'm just going to do a squiggly line across. And now I'm going to go down like this for the one that's going there. That's like the knot. And then continue down like a rectangle, but squiggly. And then one this way for the scarf. And I'm going to stop. So this is the scarf where it's got a knot and then the parts that hang down and then the tassels will paint in like I did here. Now I'm going to do the coal buttons and I'm going to just kind of go like this. I'm going to make one here and then one here and leave some white. Go down a little bit and then I'm just going to make them like this. And they may not be exactly like that, but that's all right. All right, they're all going to be a little different and unique. That's what makes it yours. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so next, I am going to take my black marker, or my paint tempera marker, and I'm going to make the hat for the snowman on top. And I'm going to squeeze the paint through the um, sponge applicator, and I'm going to hold the paper down if I need to. And Kind of just create that shape of the hat around the brim of the hat right now. I've got a little wet up here with the um, glitter glue, so we'll wait a little bit. But let's just get this guy in, the brim of the hat so far. We'll wait on that. We'll come back to it. I am going to put some shadowing on my snowman. I'm just not even pushing. I'm just going to drag my marker like that and then around the side of the snowman. gives it more dimension three-dimensional look and then over here too okay and even like right here where the weight of that is kind of shadowed and then over here creates that effect and then down in here I'm shadowing into the ground of the light source coming this way and it's shadowing on this side that'll give it that dimensional look now I'm going to squeeze and go up and create my top hat right in there and i'm just going to color it all in black like that it'll go right over those other colors and i'm squeezing my temper paint marker we're going to cap this and i'm done with it and i'm going to let this all dry while i'm waiting i'm going to go for the orange to do the carrot nose so with that i'm going to go right into the carrot and just color it right in and i don't even have to have it all colored i like a little white showing 
and that's good. We'll let it be. Now I've got stripes on my scarf. I'm going to go right in with the orange and do a stripe like I did on mine here. And I'm going to skip some spots in here, 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 and here. Just kind of random and then little ones to go down for the tassels. And that's all. And the wind's blowing them around a little. And that's how I'm doing it. Okay, next I'm going to take some yellow. And I'm going to go in and make stripes within my scarf like I'm doing here. All right, see how it's coming along? And again, if you want to use a different color, you can. I'm just doing these because I wanted to show how you can use all of the paint markers and um, how that looks. And I'm going to do green in between these spaces. And there's my snowman. Now the final thing I want to do is the brim up here, but I'm going to wait till this is drier. While I'm waiting, I'll lay that down. I did extend my arms here a touch. So, what I'm, so they definitely would connect with the snowman. I just have to add more glitter glue. So I'm just go ahead and squeeze it and make sure all those blends in. So it's touching the snowman like I did there. Okay, so we have our name and date. Um, like I put here, I know I'm missing a little bit of sparkle down here, so I'll grab the silver and I'm gonna go ahead and push and squeeze in those snow little holes that I have here like so, just to have that little bit of icy sparkle within my piece to be balanced out with the rest of the image. And it might be a little hard to work with. You might have to push down with your fingers and use both hands like this even to get your glitter glue out. Mine's coming to an end here. I can even take a little extra from here and just kind of drag it in there. Okay, and it's kind of like messy it doesn't have to be a straight line because snow is kind of hilly and ice is kind of like that so it's okay we have our base with the shadow and the shadow here we have our swirls of color in the background we have everything done now i'm going to take my red and like i did the brim of this hat i'm going to show you i'm going to put it up here it's still slightly wet I'm going to blow a little bit. Maybe that'll help speed it up a little. And I am going to go ahead and paint in my red over the, the brim. Now I have a little on my paint dauber and I wanted to show you that. On my other piece of paper, I could squeeze and push that color right out and just kind of drag it out until I get it out. So it's just red again. See? So you could do that and then come back in and go ahead and paint this red again and to get that black off again continue to do the cleaning up of your your sponge applicator like I did. Click cap that and that is my snowman that concludes my video. This is Miss Kim signing off. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Bye!